G'day guys, I'm uh, gonna go through uh, some more uh, more challenging trig problems. Uh, the, uh, the only way to make a problem uh, in, trigono in right angle trigonometry uh, harder is just to surround it with uh, a confusing context or uh, words. We would have to actually pull out what, what the question is asking and, and construct, construct the problem more mathematically. So uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to go through these problems and I would expect you to pause the video on each one and give it a go. Uh, I'll read them because I know my handwriting is uh, terrible to say the least. So, a tree casts a 32 meter long shadow when the sun's elevation is 22 degrees. How tall is the tree? So, elevation means uh, the angle that the sun is at uh, compared to... Uh, the ground, the ground was, was horizontal, uh, but as most of us uh, know, uh, the ground, the, the earth is round, but let's just say that the ground is, is horizontal, uh, and it is for, for the scale of this problem, right? So that means that if I was standing here, if I was standing here, and I looked, not, perpend not straight ahead, but if I looked up at the sun, it would be, uh, with sunglasses on probably, it would be at 22 degrees high. So that means that the angle that this tree makes with its own shadow is 22 degrees. Now the tree casts a 32 meter long shadow. So you can see that we have a right angle trig problem. So what I want to know is the opposite side length of this right angle triangle. I want to know the, the height of that tree and I have been given the adjacent. So in my mnemonic, uh, so ka toa, uh, I'm gonna be using tan because I'm using O and A. So that means that tan of 22 degrees, tangent of 22 degrees is equal to uh, this unknown side X over uh, this known side 32. And so what we can do is we just multiply both sides by 32. So 32, tan of 22 degrees is equal to x. And so I get my calculator, I make sure it's in degrees and it's not, so I go shift mode, and I need to put it into degrees. It must be from a previous video of my year 13s. So that is now 32 times tan of 22 degrees, and I get 12.9. So x equals 12.9, and I answer in context. Uh, tree is 12.9 meters tall. And that is my answer. So just a couple of steps of working on right angle trig and I answer the question in context. All right, a pretty similar problem. I can immediately tell you that this will be probably a tan, okay? So how far am I from the building? So the building is 210 high and I'm looking up at the top of the building at 40 degrees okay so you need to figure out the total distance from the building can you figure that one out so I've got O and I'm wanting A so this is going to be side X so it's tangent again so tan of 40 degrees is equal to O over A and O over the unknown side, so I call that x. And now it's not, we don't have the uh, denominator, we only have the numerator, so we have to do that trick where we can swap both of those. So x is actually equal to 210 over 10, 40. And so what's that gonna be? 210 divided by 10, 40. Uh, 250, I'll just call it 250 meters. 250 meters away from the building. Uh, the reason I've just gone to 250 is because uh, I've got 250.3, but I'm only, I only know that my uh, measurement of this building is, is rounded to nearest 10. So I'm just gonna go to nearest, nearest 10 for my answer as well. Or actually probably the nearest uh, five on either side. So it's 250 meters. So next problem, 
Uh, it's not surrounded by contacts anymore, but it is usually quite challenging for, for some of us to find an angle. So we label our sides. Uh, we have got the hypotenuse because it's opposite that right angle and we have adjacent, so it's cosine. So if I take cosine of theta, it's gonna be equal to a over h, 18 over 27. And now I need to find the angle, so I use that trick of cosine inverse, 18 over 27. That fraction is uh, able to be simplified, but we don't really need it to be. So I just go shift cosine, get that negative one up there. See the inverse cosine function, 18 divided by 27, and it has to go in brackets, and I get 48.2. Uh, so 48.2 and that's gonna be degrees. So it's usually, in year 10, uh, it's usually a merit skill to get an angle given two sides, because that's understanding that is, is an important skill. All right, uh, oh, I haven't finished writing that problem out. So if, let's say I walk south, uh, 3.2 kilometers from a camp, and then I walk uh, east, 1.2 kilometers. What is my distance from the camp? Well, this is actually uh, You could pause and give this a go This is actually Pythagoras. So it's the a short side plus a short side squared uh, Gives you the long side squared doesn't it? So this length here I'll call it distance because it's what my distance from the camp. So D is equal to 3.2 squared plus 1.2 squared and we square root that, don't we, to get our distance. And so what that looks like in a calculator is I get 3.2 squared plus 1.2 squared. I get that as an answer, and then I'll square root. Square root of that, 3.4. So 3.4 kilometers away from camp. So Notice how I'm answering context there. And I'm also just going to check if that makes sense. Does that number make sense? If I've gone 3.2 this way and 1.2 this way, it should make sense that I am a bit more than this side. All right, it's not drawn a scale, but I should be longer than 3.2. And I am by 200 meters. Cool. Two more problems. So I've got the same problem again but this is a bearing problem now. So what is my bearing from the camp? So that means that if I was at the camp, what bearing would I look at? To, if, I, if I had someone at the camp, I was telling my what my bearing was from them, what is the angle they would need to look at from north to be able to see me? So we need, uh, we need this angle here because the bearing going south is 180. So if I have that bearing of 180 going all the way around I take away this angle then I'll know what direction uh, someone at the camp would need to be going to to catch up with me so let's find this angle I've got the A and O so it's tangent so I could take tan of this unknown angle I'll call it theta and that's equal to O over A right there a little bigger this is a video so 1.2 over 3.2. And so what I need is just theta. And that's when I take the tan inverse of that fraction. So shift tan and then in brackets that division. Okay, there it is there. 20 point, uh, just go 21.0. Theta is 21.0. Uh, actually, let's go 20.6. 20, 20 right, makes more sense. 21, sorry. 20.6 degrees. So there's the angle we need to take away from 180 so that we know that bearing. So 180 minus. 20.6, 159.4. So the bearing is, I'm just going to call that 
degrees. So if we were facing north, we would have to turn 159 degrees clockwise and then go in that direction to meet up with me from the camp. So what is my bearing from the camp? Cool. All right, last problem for today. Uh, what is the pitch of this roof? So it's basically asking what is that angle? So you could give that a go. I've got an 18 meter long uh, floor, I guess, 2.5 meter high uh, ceiling, and the, to the very top of the roof is 3.4 meters. So I need to get a right angle triangle out of this. So what I can do is I can just cut this in half, make a right angle triangle, call that nine, and I need to know this length here. Well, that's 3.4, take away two and a half, take away 2.5, so that's gonna be a height of 0 0.9. So you'd expect this angle to be quite low, because that's very low angle, uh, very, very short distance, and that's quite a long distance. So it's not drawing a scale. So how do I find that angle there? Well, uh, I need to label it first, so I give it theta, and I'm using O and A again. So I've realized I've done a lot of tangent problems, but once you've got the labeling done, it doesn't really change. So I've got tan theta is O over A, and then I just want the angle. So I go tan inverse 0 0.9 over 9. So tan inverse of, oh, well, don't need that bracket, it's already there for me, 0 0.9 divided by 9, and that equals 5.9. 7 and that's degrees. So the pitch of this roof is at 5.7 degrees. So it's quite low And so you might be asked uh, maybe in the future if you're in, if you're a draftsman or an architect or Or an engineer you might be needing to uh, find the pitch of various physical objects uh, If it's in roading or infrastructure or building and housing uh, so that it meets uh, certain requirements like water runoff, uh, structural integrity, and all those those good things. So there is uh, six uh, more challenging uh, trig problems uh, for you. So if you didn't quite understand something, uh, hit me with a question or uh, just go back and, and watch it again. Nice.